Hello, hello, friends, and welcome back to the channel. My name is Caroline. I am a current senior at Columbia University, and this vlog will be documenting my first week back on campus for my last semester of college ever. As we all know, these past few years have been anything but ordinary, so I'm very grateful to be back in the city, spending time with friends, and taking classes that I never had the opportunity to before. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Good morning, everyone. Today is my first day back for in-person classes. 7.45 right now. I'm walking to the gym. I'm wearing like four layers. Honestly, it's not that cold. I think I overreacted. Actually, no, I didn't. It's kind of cold. So there's this thing where there's always a certain group of people at the gym at a certain time. So if you go at 7.30 in the morning, you'll always see your 7.30 gang. If you go at 5 p.m., you'll always see the same people either playing basketball or on the weight machine. So it's just very nice to have the sort of camaraderie. Here, I just finished Caroline Gervan's Epic 3. I forgot which day, but it was a really intense 30-minute session. Now I'm just working on some stretches. I'm also trying to get my push up and I saw online that you could use the resistance band to help push yourself back up. But I think for that, you need a really strong core. So I got to work on that. My goal is to get one good push up in proper form. Honestly, going to the gym and having this time to myself, whether it be in the morning or in the afternoon, it's a really nice way to just clear your mind and not have to think about anything else. So I highly recommend getting into the habit of doing this. Look at these little snow ducks. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. We're in our first in-person class of the spring semester. To graduate from Columbia College, you have to take two global core classes. So my Buddhism class is one of them. And I really like the class. The professor is so funny and he's very, very nice. And it's an 840 class, but he has so much energy. So it's just a very engaging lecture. Today, we're learning about the life of the Buddha. And interestingly, I found that there are so many similarities between this Buddhist tradition and also the philosophy of Stoicism, which I wrote a newsletter post and made a podcast episode about. Both will be linked in the description below, and I highly recommend this to any high school or college student or any student or person in general because it's just a great way to stay grounded and to stop stressing yourself out. After class, I went to Learner Hall to get my gateway COVID test, and then I went back to my room to take a shower and eat some lunch. My second and last class of the day is Virology, and that's at 4 o'clock, so I headed out a little bit earlier because I had to make a pit stop at the biology department. I mentioned this in a couple of my other vlogs, but I am a TA or teaching assistant for the introductory biology course here at Columbia. And so last year I had a room in this building, Fairchild, and now I'm going to return the key. And I'm also going to pick up some of the recitation problems for my students who I will be meeting in person tomorrow. I'm here to return my key for 800 Fairchild. Oh, thank you. <laughs> thank you. Caroline Chen. At around four o'clock, I headed over to Havemeyer Hall, which is home of the Spider-Man scene. So do you guys remember when Spider-Man was in the lecture hall? This was in my Columbia campus tour, so you guys should check that out up above. This is 309 Havemeyer, but my classroom is one flight of stairs down to 209 Havemeyer. My professor for this course is actually a pretty famous virology podcaster with over 100,000 subscribers on YouTube. So one day before class, I actually asked to take a picture with him and I posted it on my story. So if you guys are interested in more frequent updates, make sure to follow me on my Instagram at care.xo.line. C is our TA for this class. Hi, how are you? Good. You guys saw me this morning. Today we're learning about the structures of viruses and one tip that I learned from my virology friend is that because our professor posts last year's lectures on YouTube, he watches the lectures beforehand and then comes to class more prepared to understand the material. I feel like this is a really good idea for if you have this option, just to make sure that the concepts are solidified and that you are actually following along in class. Hi! We just finished virology class. This is Miranda. She's part of Columbia Wushu. Oh yeah. Would you guys watch my vlog on that? <laughs> if you did it, yeah. I don't know if this music is copyrighted. I might have to like overlay the voice. Do you want to say anything? <gasps> Subscribe. <laughs> <laughs> Got the goods. Got some Junzi. Yeah, at least in this Junzi by Columbia, they have um, white rabbit candy, which if you don't know, it's like this milk candy with rice paper that you can eat and it's really good. 
but we didn't see it today so i asked the the cashier if they had any and then she like went to look for us but she didn't find any but then she brought us these different types of candies let me show you where is that these ones this is a long-winded way to say that i asked for white rabbit candies today and i got some other candy hee <laughs> You know, if you ask for something, you might not get what you want, but then you can get a really good alternative. I'm gonna go do some reading for my acting class tomorrow and then eat my food. I got noodles, even though I had Chinese food uh, this afternoon because it's Chinese New Year. I'm wearing red, very red. You need to wear red on Chinese New Year. That's a wrap for day one of in-person classes and I'm meeting you back in the gym for day two. I basically did another Caroline Gervin workout and here I always just try to stretch because if you miss just a few days of stretching, it really takes a while to get back to where you were, at least from my experience. I also figured out how to do the Animoji thing, so I was literally just playing with that for the whole time. <laughs> for those of you who don't come from places that snow, this is what the snow slush looks like. It's so beautiful when the snow first falls, but then it gets so slushy. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, my day starts a little bit later because my first class is at 12 p.m. So it's gonna be on Barnard's campus in Millbank Hall. So I'm gonna just cross the street and be there in a few minutes. We're standing outside of our acting classroom, which is right there. This is Caitlin. Hi. This is Elizabeth. Hello. How was your first experience with acting? Um, weird to do in my room alone. Yeah, especially dancing, but I, <laughs> I had fun. I had a lot of fun. I think it'll be better in person though. No, but I feel like you're really good. You're very expressive. Oh, so. thank you. <laughs> so were you, Elizabeth. Oh God, no, I've embarrassed myself beyond belief. No, I learned- All the mistakes I've made. <laughs> <laughs> a good Sorry. trick over Sorry. Zoom is like to hide your self view and then you won't be yeah, self-conscious. I, I learned that from Elizabeth. View. Otherwise, <laughs> I would just be a narcissist. <laughs> This is what the theater classroom looks like, and I love acting class because it's such an interactive exchange of ideas. We start off every class with warm-ups, vocal exercises, making weird noises, and just going outside of our comfort zone. I feel like it's really made me less self-conscious and just more focused on the creative and artistic journey and effort put into acting. Hey guys, we just finished with acting class, our first in-person class. So basically we uh, had to do these like big fights. <laughs> focus, <laughs> focus on like receiving what happened to like, if I were to like punch Caroline, she would like oh. her face. Newton's third law. Every action has, has an, an equal and opposite reaction. reaction. <laughs> I think it's like a good class. Yeah. Yay! Yay! After class, I headed over to Hamilton Hall, which is home to the center for the core curriculum. And I'm here because I'm gonna be picking up my Phi Beta Kappa or PBK swag. Hello. Hi. Hi. I'm Caroline. I'm here for the Phi Beta Kappa. Yes. <laughs> Congratulations. Oh, thank you so much. PBK is an honor society and each fall, the top 2% of Columbia College students are inducted. So this is when I'm going to sign the book for inductees and pick up my certificate and graduation awards. <laughs> okay, that's extras ordered. So help yourself. Thank you. Hi, Edmund. <laughs> Edmund's here too. Oh, oh man. So exciting! Wow! <laughs> wow! <laughs> Alright, do you want to take a lunch? I didn't have lunch yet, so in the core office they had some extras and I also took some oranges for good luck for the new year. Let me show you a little bit closer what the diploma looks like. And look! Oh, I really love the colors! Really nice color choices. Look at that pastel. After fangirling over my graduation course, I have some time until my next class, so I decided to have some lunch, it was really good, and watch some Netflix. And then at 4 p.m. I headed over to Pupin for my Hispanic Cultures Global Core class. I have Spanish class in the physics building. Because the way that the building is structured is such that when you walk in on campus level, you're actually on the fifth floor, I had to go down two flights of stairs to go to the third floor to access my classroom. In this class, we learned mainly about Latin American cultures, and outside of the windows, we actually saw these filming trucks. I heard they were filming something for a TV show here, like Law & Order or something like that. And a few weeks later, it might have been in a different context, but a couple of my friends actually saw Selena Gomez in person, which was so awesome. Hi! Hi. You just finished with Spanish class. Yes. yes. Um, I can't understand half the class. <laughs> 
I think we're we are two of the two of three non-native speakers in the class. Is that true? Oh, that's <laughs> why. <laughs> yes, yes. What is your vlog for? It's for it's for YouTube. YouTube. Oh I basically my God. do like college vlogs on YouTube. Wait, yes, that's you're amazing. The <laughs> oh your my God. College life is fun. <laughs> yeah, wait. I want to watch your video. Oh wait, wait. I'll, I'll send you this when it's done. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. Adios. 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 <laughs> Alrighty. So it's the next day and. Honestly, today is gonna be a repeat of what happened on Monday, so I'll keep it nice and brief. The only difference is that I'm also teaching my biology recitation from 2 to 4 p.m. Afterwards, I have a Spanish class movie night. This is, we're gonna be watching at Casa Hispanica on campus. Uh, I think it's called Zama. The movie is called Zama. Hi. Are you guys here for bio recitation? I'm going to join also via Zoom because there are a couple of people who can't make it today in person. My name is Caroline. Intros again, I'm a senior in Columbia College. I study bio and medical humanities and yeah, this is my second year as a TA. So I'm just going to hand this out first. Actually, I'll leave <laughs> successful first session. I think it went really well. We did a mini lecture for the first 50 minutes and then quiz time and then recitation problems for the rest of the time. The room is all emptied out now. And now I'm headed to virology. Okie dokie, so that's a wrap for the first week of classes back on campus. In virology, actually when I was leaving, I was turning to say bye to my professor and I think some of the salt from outside to help melt the snow got stuck on my boots and then I slipped and fell in front of everyone and it was so embarrassing. Thankfully, everyone was really nice about it. Yeah, I guess that makes for an eventful end of the vlog. I hope you enjoyed it and if you did, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps out the channel if you do. Also, be sure to check out my newsletter and podcast, which will be linked down below. And I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye-bye.